Hey guys, it's Reese. Um, here's another Maple Story commentary. This one's going to be about the server El Nido and what I think about it. Just like a quick review to anyone who's curious about the, what the server's like. First off, when you're starting El Nido, you'll notice that we do have a lack of low level players, and that's because most of the community is up in the 140s plus. Because it's mostly everyone who just started out when the server first came out. And yeah, El Nido is a big bang server, so we don't have many VIP weapons, and if you find them in the free market, they're either the level 67 ones, or, you know, the rings, and they're going to be expensive. So don't expect to come to the server to find alien PQ weapons or any of the rings. <coughs> or, um, weapons. The free market is not too bad. I wouldn't come here if you're just going to come and try to merge your way up. To get money is probably the best to get um, a pet with Meso Bag and just get item loot with it because there's... Some people can merge him but I don't know. I'm, I'm horrible at it so don't really take my advice at all. But that, that's what I did and it worked out for me. One cool thing I really like about El Nido is that if you want to go and boss, well not you know, Chaos Akim or stuff like that. But if you want to go to kill like a world boss that normally can't find in other more populated servers such as Broa or Scania especially, um, bosses like Black Crow, which I'm killing right here, um, Anigo, Bigfoot, well I guess Bigfoot sucks now for experience, but you get what I mean. You pretty much can go and find one at least on a channel, right? You don't have to wait and camp it out or try to get spawn tables or whatever. And that's because there's not a lot of people who kill the bosses. They're mostly at Lionheart Castle or just too low levels to kill it. Speaking of low levels, um, if you want to go Louis PQ and stuff, you can normally find a party to get your glasses because it's do you oh, fail. You do only need three people to go, and there's no level cap anymore, so you can normally get someone who can go with you, take you, or normally there's people at the uh, PQ area for you to get. Lionheart Castle Party is pretty easy to find depending on what time of day you're online. For me I'm in the uh, west coast and in PST time zone so I'm three hours behind almost everyone in the server and no I don't lag at all. I live on Vancouver Island so I'm like really really far west coast and I there's no lag problems for me so if anyone on the west coast wants to come over you know, don't worry about lag and stuff because it doesn't matter. But yeah, Lionheart Castle Parties for me, particularly because I am three hours behind, I normally don't get them that frequently because I get home from school when it's already like 6 EST, or like not even 6, like after 6, like 7. But that's just my problem, you know, whatever, I'm still leveling and whatnot. Let's see what else. The community is pretty decent, you know. There is a kind of a war, that war in quotation marks, against the legit people and the unlegit or presumably unlegit players who, you know, obviously do and shit, but whatever. Uh, I play the game legitly. If To me, if you know your character's legit and you leveled legit, then you know you did it, so... You know, that's just me. Some people like to hack and stuff, but yeah. Um, you know, there's. I think I covered everything in this short time. It was kind of a mouthful, but if you have any questions or anything like that, you can leave a comment below on the server or comment below on the YouTube. Uh, you can leave a comment on the YouTube page or on Basil Market if this gets accepted there. And yeah, I can try to answer your questions as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Peace.